Welcome back to Samsung Games, the place to find new strategy games, and it's time to build a city. Today we're gonna play Crowded Blue Dot. And let us begin. We're gonna call ourselves Demo City. The seed is random, and let us begin. All right, so first thing you gotta do is you gotta place your town hall. You wanna make sure the town hall works as storage, so it needs to be near forest, uh, good sources of stone, iron ore, and etc. And also fertile land. So there's a lot of fertile land here. There's some forests around, but not like, so okay, this might be better. But we need really good sources of like iron, things like that. Okay, how about, oh, this. So you wanna hover over these and see what kind of minerals we've got. So we got stone and coal. Coal, iron ore, copper, and this is perfect. So we're gonna place our town hall kind of up here, I think. So this is gonna work our storage. Then we're gonna place a house for our people. I'm just gonna place some of the basic buildings and then we're gonna go into the nitty gritty of how the game works. So we have our house for 20 people, which is perfect for 20 people is what we've got. Then we're going to start building a logging camp in order to get wood. This sort of effectiveness of this place depends on how many forests you've got around. So we're gonna place one, let's say over here. And then we're gonna build a mine. The mine is not specific to, actually we're gonna build two mines. The mine is not specific, like it doesn't say like stone mine, it just takes whatever you've got here. So this mine, this one, is going to be grabbing stone and coal, and this one is going to be grabbing whatever is here, which is coal, iron ore, and copper ore. Now up on the top here you can see your resources, and they are split into different categories because there are a lot of resources in this game. So over here we've got like basic resources like wood, stone, coal, iron ore, etc. Here we've got basic food like wheat, corn, vegetable, sugar, meat and so on. Here we've got processed food like bread, cookie, cake, beer, wine, cheese, etc. Over here we've got like more complicated resources, so like iron, copper, bricks, glass, planks. Here we've got things that our people use to make them happy, like clothes, furniture, barrels, bandages and so on. And here we have research. In order to get research points, you're going to need to build a library or an engineering center. But in order to build those, we actually need bricks and paper, which are not so easy to get. So we're not gonna get that so early. Also, if you look at the research over here, most of the basic research is prerequisite of um, either it's like a small village or for example, a new world. So these are, are milestones that you need to fulfill. So in order, we need to get 100 population, then we get the effect of small village. This will give us a bonus of warehouse and it also will allow us to do some of the basic research like for example, this warehouse. And so the research, you can't just do it immediately at the beginning. You need to kind of get some of your basic resources. Now we handle the source of wood and um, sort of like the resources in the mine, like stone, coal, iron, ore, but we need some food. So we're gonna build a farm. We're gonna place it somewhere where it has a really, let's place it here. No, actually we're gonna place it kind of up top because I wanna make sure I can place more of these down here. So this farm is going to give us some nice source of food. So we're gonna have all these basic things. Now what if I wanted to make a cooler food for them? Like I don't want them to eat wheat, I want them to eat at least flour. In order to do that we would need to build a grist mill for which we need iron ore. By the way here we can pick what kind of uh, thing we want them to do. So we can tell them to do wheat but we can also tell them to do vegetable or something like that. I'm gonna stick to wheat because I want to make uh, flour very soon. So in order to get this mill, we're gonna need iron ore. And in order to get iron ore, we need to build a foundry, which costs us 180 wood and 150 stone. So we're gonna build a foundry somewhere near our mine. So I'm thinking maybe, maybe here would be a good idea. Let's place it over there. Cause it's near both of these mines and then it can use its stuff to make me iron ore. Just something that we definitely want. Now in this game, the way the population work is that it's depending on happiness, not on your sort of house space, not on housing. So because we have happiness 80%, it means that the population will explode. That's exactly how the game calls it. So something to keep in mind that, yeah, like right now we can get more people than we have houses for. So let's build an additional wooden house. Kind of there, we're gonna have multiple near each other. And here you can see, by the way, our city hall storage limit. 
All right, now we've got the foundry, so we can set up whether we want to be making iron, copper, or gold. At the moment, our focus is on iron. We're going to need three iron ore and one coal in order to make four iron. And we can set up a production limit, which we want to have pretty high because we want to have a lot of these. Now we should have some stone. We have 164, sorry, some, some coal and iron ore. We have 234 coal, 36 iron ore. We don't have much iron ore, but we are getting some in these mines. You could also later on upgrade this into a big mine, but for that we need a lot of other resources that are a bit more difficult to, to get. Let me build a one more house. We don't really need it right now, but we're gonna need it eventually. So I just wanna place it here to have it ready. Yeah, it seems like they can walk through these buildings, so you don't have to worry about making like spacing and etc. So that's pretty cool. Well, I love that I can see all this stuff that we're building here for the wheat. Now, how are we doing with our production? Could I build the... Sorry, with our food. Could I build the million? No, we need 60 and we've got 50 iron. Wait, we turn it into iron ore? Yeah, we're turning it into iron, it's just going very slowly, apparently. Yeah, yeah, very slowly. Okay, okay. Yeah, 109. Okay, now. Now we can build the grist mill, which is to turn grain into flour. I'm gonna place it... Where do you want to have like that kind of production? I think maybe kind of here off to the side a little bit. We're gonna place it there. So this is gonna allow us to get flour. Now, if we wanted to do bread, we would need bricks. Which is good because we need bricks for a lot of things, so we're gonna focus on that next. We need to build this building supplier, which allows us to do bricks, for which we're going to need 60 stone. We don't have stone? Interesting. Well, we should be getting stone from... See, this is only 10% stone. Oh, yeah, I see. We actually don't have many sources of stone. Hmm. Any other places we could get stone? This? This is stone. So we're gonna place one more mine down here. This is pretty far, so it's not ideal. But the thing is, this only gives us 10% stone and these other ones don't have any stone, so we're gonna need that. So someone will unfortunately go down here. Now we don't have enough housing, so let's me build... Oh, we need, oh, we need 100 stone for a new house? This is a problem because the population is going to explode and then people will be homeless so they'll go back to being unhappy. That's, that's definitely bad. But we can see some people, some folks are moving down here to gain some stone. Yeah, we've got 100 population and I can't do anything about it. Alright, but we've got a new research, which is good. Again, we can't really research anything just yet. But, because we need to build that library for which we need, yeah, bricks also, and, and stone and paper. So at the moment we're kind of waiting on our stone. But hopefully that, that's gonna be fine soon. 40 stone, yeah, I'm gonna need houses first, I think. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of houses. Alright, so let's hope that they're gonna get the stone. Okay, now 90 stone. Almost finished. We're gonna build at least one or two more houses because I want to make sure our happiness is not gonna fall too low because I need the people working. Actually, I don't need to people the people working. We need to build like more stuff for them to do things. But I assume that for a majority of these things we're gonna need stone. We, we could build... Okay, let's first build the secondary house because we know we want that. But over there. Next, we wanted to build the building supplier. For that we need stone that we don't have. And for a bakery, we're gonna need bricks, which we don't have again. So we could build another mine. Yeah, we're gonna. This just requires us to have tools, which we have plenty of at the moment. We're gonna have 30 more tools. Hmm. And we don't. We don't quite know how we're gonna make tools just yet. For tools, we're going to need glass and cups. We should be able to get that. For gla glass and bricks. So we should be able to get that from this. So for which you don't need anything. So we can we can afford to build one more mine. We not have wood? What's up? Oh, I think it's because there's already mine there. But if we place it this way, I should have placed it above, but it's that's alright. I'm gonna get another mine which is gonna help us here with the 
It's 130 people. That's so many people. Also, we should be, we're gonna be running out of food very soon, I think. We need another farm for which I need the bricks. So it's really all waiting for this building supplier for which, again, we just need stone. We have 56 stone though, so we're almost there. Yes, now I'm gonna build a building supplier near the foundry, so I'm gonna place it up here. It's also gonna be a good place for a lot more farms, which we're gonna get very, very soon. Yeah, for that we need 130 bricks, which we're gonna start working on now. And also, as always, we're going to be placing more houses because we're going to need it like crazy. Right, so here we have we have only work for like 85 people apparently. Once they build this, that's going to be 85. All right, we've got this. We want to be producing bricks from clay and co coal. I think that's... Alright, um... Now, where can we get clay? Do we have to find like a sand pit? Here, clay, great. So we need to build a pit. For that we need 30 planks, which we thankfully have, 10 coal, 20 stones. So we're gonna place a pit here as high as we can, so we're gonna go up here. And people are going to go there and grab us some clay, which is going to allow us to get these bricks. Now, can we also build a secondary house? Not yet. We need 30 more stone for that. Ooh, our happiness is terrible. That's just going to be okay. We've got so many people. Food-wise, we're still okay. We've got a lot of flour. I would love to get this bread thing for which we just need bricks. Okay, so our focus right now is going to be on bricks. Question is, are we going to use it on the bakery first, or are we going to use it probably on, on, on another farm first? Because we, we really exploded with the population, we want to make sure we've got enough people. And then we want to start working on this paper mill, though. We, we could get that as well. For this, we would need copper. Which I could turn this into making copper, because we have a lot of iron, so turn make me copper from... Copper ore and coal, which you both have. Great. So, so make copper so we can start making some paper and then do research. This research would be cool. Okay, can we build more houses by the way in the meantime? Yes, we can. So let's build another house on the other s Actually, we're gonna build two houses. We apparently have enough stone, which is great. Two houses, so a place for another 20 people. All right. Now, how are we on bricks? Five bricks. Okay, bricks are going very slowly. <laughs> bricks are not moving. We need another farm. We need bricks for bakery. We need bricks for everything. We could build another one of these. But I don't think we want to. Because... I mean, we could. How much, how much does it cost, though, to make... It cost me stone that I just don't have. And I need all the stone for the people. Also, would love to build a forge eventually. Also, be quite useful. Upgrading the big pick costs us way too much stuff that we don't have. Okay, we're gonna speed up the time a little bit. Keep focusing on building some more houses. Not like crazy amounts of houses, but like a little bit. Food, yeah, we're losing a lot, lots of lots of food. So we need that second farm, like ASAP. So anything else that I could build? Yeah, everything else is just like so much further in development than this. Yeah, our population is going way, way too high, way too fast. I can't support 130 people, I'm sorry. They're gonna have to start leaving because there's nothing we can do there. Break-wise... Got five breaks. Hmm. Yeah, I can't really build any other gather or anything like that. I could try to turn more... No, I can't, I can't do anything about it, this. We're losing main food, we're not losing this. We're gonna, we're gonna start turning into eating like more of the raw food when they run out of the good food, but... Yeah, not much we can do there. We've got plenty of coal, wood, stone. Okay, we've got stone, so we're gonna build another house. And then we wanted to build a secondary... 
We could build a secondary... Oh, we could build a paper mill at this point. Alright, so let's do it. Place one, I guess, here. And then we could also build another building supplier. Might be useful. Let's do that. We have a lot of people, so we should be able to start like building more of these. We reached 150 people. We could now build a library if you wanted to, but for that we still need that paper, which we don't have just yet. We also need to build tools very, very soon. We have, we don't have much, we don't have much clay. So the thing is, this was actually maybe going slow because we don't have the clay, not necessarily because we don't have the thing. We could build another one of these ma these clay pits. Yeah, let's do it. Let's build another clay pit. What's this clay pit is, is, is... I guess we'll build it here. Move a bit to a different direction. Are we having trouble with food? 140 bricks. I need more bricks. Someone give me bricks. In order to make glass, we would need sand, which we don't have yet. We're gonna get it soon. Flowers. Oh, we different wheat or corn, so we're fine with wheat. Where did I build? Why did I build this here? Paper mill. Okay, we're making paper. I should have built it up there, not sure why I built it here, but whatever. Whatever. Okay, so we are almost out of food. We can build this because we don't have enough bricks. Yeah, this is this is a bit of a problem. Which means we can't build any of the other things just yet either. But we could build more houses, finally. Which is always useful. We have space for 160 people. That's great. Great news. <laughs> so many people. That's kind of cool, I've got to say. And we wanted to also build a secondary farm, which again, not enough bricks for. We have this one clay pit here. And... If we have 10 people working in the pits, that's fine. We're not getting any sand yet, so we cannot make any of these, like, glasses if we wanted to. What did we need the glasses for? But I think it was to make tools, which is what we need to make more mines if we want it. Which we do want to do eventually, but I think our first focus is always going to be the, the library for the research and then this bakery. The library just needs 200 stone, actually has enough of everything else. So that's great. So we're going to be able to start researching very soon. I'm very happy with that. Also potentially place more warehouses near some, like a warehouse here could be good. So we don't have to like transport everything all over the place. Might be very nice. Are we not there with the stone? 142 stone, we're almost there, but not quite. Yeah, we're starting to lose regular food, which is not ideal. How many bricks? 97 bricks, so close to be able to build another farm. I'm very happy with that. Monstone! I'm losing lots of the food here. Almost ran out of flour. At this point, I need to build that farm. 130, we are at 112. I wish some of these people would leave. Like, leave me alone. <laughs> I need to, like, have, like, a setup that says, like, go away. Because we can't handle this many people. Yes, I can build a farm. So let's build a farm here. This is gonna help us significantly. Stop hopefully running out of food. Like, they don't have a place to live. They should be leaving. They don't really want to be leaving. We'll keep making wheat, because why not? Yeah, this is, seems to be standing... Kind of standing in position. Alright. Now, we've got a lot of paper, so do, can we build the library now? Yes. We'll build the library of... Actually, I don't know. We built the paper mill. Really bad place. So, I, actually, I don't know if we... Let's put it up here. Let's have it kind of near, near everything else. That's always good. Yeah, we're losing people, which is good for us because we are being way overpopulated. But yeah, we're gonna get ourselves a very nice library, which is going to allow us to start the research. So we'll start working on. Hmm. 
I guess we'll start working on, on the warehouse. Well, actually, we're first, okay, so we first need to get the pawn before we can set up. I thought we could set it up and then wait for the research, but we gotta get the research first. We're still working on bricks here. Did I build, build a pit near the sand thingy? I did not. Do I want to do it right now? I think I do. Just so we can start getting some sand. Should be able to get up to 3,000 of every resource, so we should have some time. Yeah, we're gaining flour. Well, are we? Not getting flour anymore. Yeah, we are still losing food. We're gonna need another farm or a bakery, I think. We, we are gonna have space for another farm. We're gonna place it over here. Maybe we'll do it like a vegetable one or something. I don't think this is actually doing that much production because I think it's taking... A lot of the farm is just being... A lot of the wheat is just being eaten. But yeah, we're gonna build another farm as soon as we can. Now this library is going to give us points as you can see over here. So once we get enough, like I said, we can assign this to get like a warehouse or... Ooh, livestock could be interesting. I think we'll start with the, with the warehouse. It's gonna be very nice. 93 bricks, we're close! Not quite there though. I don't think another grist mill would be helpful for us at this point. I built the sand pit so I could turn one of these, since we're waiting a lot on building the clay, we're gonna turn one of these into glass. Because we just, um, like I said, we just don't have enough clay for this. Maybe uh, the people are not really leaving. Okay, they're leaving now. I was hoping they would leave a bit faster. Make it, okay, we can, we can build another, another farm. Almost. 126, come on. Just need a little bit more. Go, go, go. Give me five more breaks. Or four. Four more breaks. That's all I need. That's all I'm asking. Yes. We'll build it. Um... That's just too low production. 107%. We'll build it over here. Get ourselves some good farm. And then our food situation should get better. The only people play it's like, I'm not gonna build you any more houses because you're gonna keep moving in. I don't want you to move in. Anyway, I think this is um, a good time to end the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, write down in the comments and you can click on the right to watch some other city builders. I'll see you there. Bye bye!